In this video, I want to show you the second tool in the KD Suite tools, uh, set of tools. This one's called the KD Search Analyzer. Just a quick reminder, the, last, the first tool we looked at was the KD Bestseller Analyzer. And the way this works is um, you can search by category. You can find out whether particular categories are prof potentially profitable for you. So if you're interested in, let's say, um, government, you could select the government and then the subcategories of government if you wanted and you could go and do the searches and find out what books there are see how much competition see how much demand there is for those particular books but quite often what i would like to do is i don't want to start off with a category i'd like to start off with a keyword and i can't just type in the keyword here and, and do a search because this not the way this tool works this, this tool works by checking out the categories that you select and finding out and comparing categories to see which ones are the most profitable anyway the second software in this suite um, does what I want because I can type in keyword phrases here and I could type in as many as I want so let's say your SEO internet marketing affiliate marketing okay we'll just leave it for that for the moment and then click on go now what the tool is doing is going over to Amazon and for each of the keywords that I've got so let's take SEO as an example it goes over to Amazon and it types in the search box SEO followed by an A and then it collects let me just do that again it collects these words down here those phrases now the one that's in the top position is the one that gets searched the most probably I mean we don't know for a fact but that makes sense that the what the most popular searches are the ones displayed at the top and then they become less popular going down so that is position one if you remember that because we're going to look at the what that position means in a little bit and we're going to use that it then goes and does SEO B SEO C and so on anybody who's read my Kindle book will know about that technique for finding keyword phrases and it, you can use something very similar at Google as well so that's what it's done. It's gone away. Look for SEO A, SEO B, SEO C, E, F. And you can see here SEO A, SEO an hour a day is position one. Uh, SEO A, SEO Adam Clark is two. And it went on to SEO B and so on. Now it's come back with the keywords there. What I can do is I can actually rank them by this rank. Remember, that's the ones that appeared top in the list. The first one in the list, those are the ones that um, were the ones that have the most searches. And I could then just select all of those if I wanted to and send them to the analyzer. And I'll show you what that does in a second. But that will take a little bit too long. So just to make this demo a little bit quicker, if I just select a few of these books, let's have a look, SEO Guide, SEO Books, SEO Kindle, SEO tips. I'm going to just select those four and I can click the send to analyze button or I can actually also right click and send to the analyzer that way or I could check up keywords on Google Trends or search on Google or go to the Google Keyword Tool there but we're just going to go to the search analyzer okay and I've got some here that I added earlier so let me just delete those okay so we'll look up these four I've got maximum results set at five although you can um, set that to anything you want again I'm going for speed here for the demo so it's going to come back with five books for each of those phrases and then I just click on the go button and it goes off to Amazon and it will do a search for SEO guide and it will pull back the top books for uh, that are ranking for the SEO guide phrase then they'll do the same for SEO books SEO Kindle SEO tips so I'll just pause it for a minute you can see it's just started on the second phrase Okay, now it's come back with the results now. So I've got the books, which I can see the title if I expand that. I can get, see the books there that are ranking. I can see all the other data that we saw pretty much in the other tool, the bestseller analyzer. We can see gross per month, sales per month, um, number of reviews, rankings, overall ranking, bestseller ranking. Now, there is a bug in this software that I found, and I have sent off the bug report to the developers. Basically, this overall figure is the, the best seller rank and that determines how many sales you make every day or every month now if a book is free in Kindle then this software doesn't recognize it as free and it uses that sales rank now if you have a book in Kindle it's quite possible you could get into the top 100 or 200 books on Amazon free clearly that's not the same as being in Amazon paid Kindle so that means that you know 
if you're 200 in Amazon free, this software will assume you're selling as if you're 200 in Amazon paid, so it's wrong. Um, but I presume they're going to fix that pretty quick. Um, over in this column, I can see the gross monthly. We can actually group again like we did before. We can group by um, keyword or we can group by category if we wanted to, we group by rank. We can even group by author so that you can see. Um, there's me there. Let's have a look. Which that's actually the same book twice. This is another little problem I've notified them about. Sometimes you can get the same book appearing twice, um, just because of the way it searches. You know, it searches for SEO A, SEO B, SEO C, and the same books can appear in those lists more than once. So those are two small things which I hope they will fix. But very quickly, I can have a look over here and I can see. Well, is this the sort of market I would like to get into? These sales aren't great. I mean, okay, one or two aren't bad, but um, I actually know because that's mine there. I know that that's low, so this seems to be underestimating um, the sales, but it still gives you a good comparative guide to what's selling and what's not. And let's just delete that. Let's just do one more example. And I'm going to just type in, in fact, I'm not going to use the keyword tool. I'm going to just type in, uh, let's have a paleo diet. No, let's just type in diet and see what comes up. Um, clear this and because I'm only typing one keyword in I'll choose 10 results okay and the results are back and let me just expand this a little bit so I can see the titles and we'll go back this way a little bit okay so these are all ranking for the term diet they're all in Kindle and we can go across to the gross column and see how much these books are actually making this top one makes um, estimated 35 and a half thousand um, dollars a month. If I just have a quick check of the book details, I can just check to make sure yes, that is in the paid Kindle store. So look at the next one. See, this one is in free Kindle store, so that one's not actually making any money, and yet the software is saying that it's making nearly 13,000 a month. So, what I would do there until they get this bug fixed, I would just delete that one. And go down and check the other ones. This one it says making 75,000. It's quite possible that's in free as well. No, nope, this one's in paid. It's ranking 429 in paid. So let's have a look. Let's order by the gross monthly. Those top two are selling a lot. And you can see as well with Kindle, I mean, I often get asked, you know, if you release a book, you get good sales initially, then do they start falling off? Well, that this book has been out coming up for. for for, for two years and this one's been over two years old those are the top two selling books making 75,000 and 35,000 a month so clearly you know books can hang around and, and do well for long periods of time 17 day diet uh, wheat belly lose the wheat lose the wheat the weight and find your path so this is obviously about um, going on a, a non-wheat diet non-wheat based diet so that will give me great ideas for um, a book to write and I can see that there is quite a lot of potential income in that niche. I would probably go a little bit narrower than that. And that's where this tool would come in. I could actually just type diet in there. Check on go. I should have actually cleared this first. Let's just clear all the data. Okay, now we've got it. Then I would order by rank. And I can see that these are the top diet books or book ideas. So diet tips is, is a good one. Diet nutrition, diet workout, workbook. Um, diet and weight loss, diet devolution, solution, sort of motivation, diet motivation. If you were um, some sort of life coach or something or motivator or whatever, you might be able to help with a sort of a book on that. OK, so this gives me ideas. And um, if I wanted to analyze any further, I would just send them to the analyzer. And then run it through here just to see whether there is a, is a is a market for them. But obviously you can send through multiple keywords at a time and analyze markets quite comprehensively in one sweep. So you don't have to do little bits and pieces at a time. So that's the, the, the KD search analyzer. It's great for finding out whether um, a keyword sort of phrase that you want to target is going to be profitable. And for me personally, what I'm going to be doing with this is using it to 
uh, work in combination with websites where the website is built on a topic. The topic, I am actually not going to use Google Keyword Tool for finding the topic. I'm going to use this. I'm going to identify a good niche for um, a Kindle book. Then I'm going to build a website around that niche as well. Um, and from that website, hopefully I'll get traffic and then hopefully I can promote my book and sell my book through Amazon Kindle. So that's the keyword search analyzer.